White Castle is America's first and oldest existing hamburger chain. It all started in 1921, when Billy Ingram and Walt Anderson opened a tiny white castle-looking burger shack in Wichita, Kansas. They started the business with $700 and an idea of selling small, square, five-cent hamburgers by the sack. Soon, White Castle opened a few more restaurants around the Midwest. Because fast food chains didn't exist at the time, White Castle needed to build its own infrastructure. The chain opened bakeries, meat plants, and warehouses. They set up a company to produce paper hats and other products, and even created a subsidiary to manufacture the building materials used to construct new locations. Ingram and Anderson came up with the name White Castle by combining two words that conveyed both purity and strength. White Castle decided to make their buildings white and had their interiors built with white porcelain countertops and stainless steel appliances, evoking cleanliness in their products. That spotless image was also expected of employees, who were required to be well-groomed and wearing stain-free uniforms. At the time, there was a stigma about hamburger meat being dangerous and unhealthy. To combat this ground beef fear, Ingram partnered with the University of Minnesota and commissioned a study in 1930 that tracked the health of a college student eating White Castle sandwiches. The study found that the student, who ate nothing but their hamburgers and water for 13 weeks, was in top physical health. Walt Anderson sold his interest in the company to Ingram in 1932, and a year later, White Castle moved its offices from Wichita, Kansas, to Columbus, Ohio. There haven't been any locations in Kansas ever since. White Castle's signature burgers are called sliders. When the company first began, the burgers were cooked by placing small balls of ground beef on a grill with diced onions on top. The ground beef was flattened and flipped before a bun and pickle were added. Each slider was sold for five cents. In the 1930s, with competition increasing, White Castle began putting coupons in newspapers that allowed customers to buy five hamburgers for just five cents each. By the 1940s, the cost of a burger rose from five cents to 10 cents. Cooking the hamburgers the original way began to take up too much time, so in 1954, employee Earl Howell suggested they poke holes in the patty before cooking. This allowed the patty to cook faster and eliminated the need to flip them over. Mm -hmm. 
Howell soon also found out that cooking the patty on a bed of chopped onions allowed the steam to permeate the burgers and cook them without touching the grill directly. Today, all White Castle hamburgers are still steamed this way. The company likes to keep its fast food empire within the family. While most burger chains used franchising as a way to grow, White Castle has avoided giving up control. In fact, there are no franchises, and that's the way they like it. Billy Ingram also refused to build his company with debt, so everything was paid for with cash. This may be the reason the company was quickly outpaced by other fast food restaurants and never grew past its regional operations in the Midwest. Still, White Castle does boast the distinction of being the first fast food restaurant to sell one billion burgers, a feat reached in 1961, just two years before the much younger McDonald's would hit that very same milestone. In a sea of fast food competitors, White Castle still stands out as one of the most beloved and crave-worthy places to grab a bite. So when was the last time you ate an entire sack of sliders from White Castle? <laughs>